Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Talking Agriculture and I'm your host Komak Innocent. Today we are going to be talking about what biotechnology really is. The term biotechnology, sometimes shortened to biotech, was coined by the Hungarian engineer Karl Ericke in 1919 to mean the use of natural organisms to create products for human use. In this sense, biotechnology has been in use for centuries. The early examples of traditional biotechnology include selective breeding of animals and crops and the utilization of microorganisms to produce products such as cheese, yogurt, bread, beer, and wine. The first plants and animals used for agriculture were wild species that early man identified to be edible during the era of hunting and gathering food. Over thousands of years of selection for desired features such as disease resistance, better taste, and higher yield, most of these are fully domesticated, having diverged from their wild ancestors to the extent that they can no longer survive outside of an agricultural environment. Today, our understanding of the detailed molecular mechanisms underlying the processes of life has reached a point where applications of biotechnology do not necessarily use the entire living organisms. Technologies that manipulate cells and subcellular components such as proteins, peptides, DNA, and RNA are all part of the toolkit of a biotechnologist. This newfound knowledge and ability is loosely termed modern biotechnology. These technologies provide greater control over living processes, making their outcomes more predictable. With that all said, Biotechnology, or modern biotechnology as of now, mostly operates at a cellular level. 